If I say bookworm, what do you think of? You'll probably think of that cartoonish green worm with round glasses from those posters in elementary school. We all know what it means culturally, someone who reads or studies more than the average. But where did the word originate? Like many nicknames, it appears to have started as a derogatory term that was later embraced by the very people it was used to insult. But even so, why worm? Why not simply book person, or book dog, or book squirrel? <laughs> Well, bookworm was already an idiomatic term referring to certain types of tiny insects which literally inhabited books, such as silverfish, book lice, and linoleum beetles. Still not worms, but I guess it sounded cuter. These little guys are rare, but can leave little burrowed holes throughout the pages, leather coverings, or even hardback boards of a book, particularly in damp environments. The best way to protect your books against bookworms is keeping them in a low temperature environment. Pesticides generally contain harsh chemicals, so you don't want to use those. But there you are! Bookworms are real things. Sort of.